Hello, Steve here. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about seasoning your firebox frying pan. Now, I, first of all, I wanted to apologize that the instructions that your pan came with were not nearly as complete or detailed as they needed to be. Um, I've done a lot of research and a lot of testing, and I think I've come up with a very good protocol for you to follow um, in order to get a really good seasoning on your firebox frying pan. So go ahead and check that out below. The seasoning process is kind of a two-step process. You, you have the process that you perform at home in your oven, and then the process really continues as you use your pan. So your seasoning layer will improve continually with use, just like with a cast iron pan. So what I recommend is actually using a no-stick cooking spray this has an ingredient in it um, called lectin. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but that ingredient helps the oil penetrate deep into the pores of the pan. So it's really a useful tool in continuing the seasoning process. And it also helps your food to not stick until your seasoning has become fully developed. So what I do is I just spray it in, and because that lectin um, burns quite easily it can affect the flavor of your food so what I do is I spray it on and then I wipe it back off and so that it's not uh, there's it's, you don't want it to be puddled in your pan where it will burn and affect the flavor of your food I'll just melt some butter on top of the no stick spray and then that's what I'll actually cook in. So whatever oil or fat you're planning on cooking with, just do a little process of using the no-stick spray first. egg right above the heat there. And then this is the point where I would want to probably bring the heat down just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put on the simmering and we'll just let this egg finish up. Then when you're finished with your cooking project, then I would recommend bringing the heat up to the smoke point. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this egg out. And then what you want to do is, let's take off the simmering, that might be hot, but... And then wipe out the excess oil. You want to scrape off any little food bits that might be trying to stick on. And let me get a fresh paper towel here. And you just want to wipe it off until you have just uh, a satiny kind of sheen. You want to wipe off the shiny stuff and just leave a satin. You can even turn it over and so you wipe off as much as you can basically. And then you allow it to reach a uh, smoking point. Okay, my pan's starting to smoke a little bit. So I'll go ahead and put out the alcohol burner and then I'll just let it cool.